Good morning, this is Peter Combs from Bitamount.com, the eBay search site for antiques, uh, specializing in Asian uh, objects and European silver, American silver, decorative art. This morning I want to do a quick review back at an auction that we had featured in our weekly newsletter. Uh, actually, we had it in twice, a week ago and this past weekend. Uh, it was an auction run by Josh Chamberlain. If you're not getting the newsletter, please sign up for it. Uh, it goes out to about 7,000 collectors and dealers around the world, showing them uh, what's on eBay at the moment. Uh, we only include authentic items or items we feel have merit. This is the newsletter from this past weekend. If you get the newsletter for some reason, you should lose it. If you if you can't find it after it comes on Saturday, come to the site. It's always here. Uh, you can you can pull it up. Basically, it's a it's an instant watch list in your email every weekend. This was the sale I was talking about. Josh Chamberlain, Juice One Four Nine Nine in New Hampshire. He had a three hundred and twenty one lot auction uh, that ran for ten days. Go to completed listings. Go up to highest price first. Up. There are the prices. There you go. $50,669 for that Meiping Cloisonne vase that we had talked about. It's a Chin Lung vase. Highly desirable. Very good quality. The best quality, as you can see. Um, take a look at some of the details as a reminder of it, in case you forgot it. There it is. It's outstanding. has a clock in it and a Chin Lung mark. And I, I suspect that mark is pretty authentic. It looks okay to me. Uh, heavy, nice gilding, thickly done, superb quality with Buddhist symbols in the decoration. A lovely vase, $50,000. Next up, oh, the screen. This also we had talked about. Uh, we had thought it would do very well because these, this, this particular palette of colors that they, that they used on these, they were done in the latter part of the 19th century. The very soft um, Famille Rose palette. A lot of orange peel in the porcelain. It's one of the things collectors look for. They don't want to see a completely glassy, smooth, flat surface on these. Uh, it indicates a later date of manufacture. Republican. Some Republican screens can do very well, though, but this is a particularly popular one. This is a good size screen, uh, 36, 38 inches tall by about 58 inches wide. Did well. Next was the big pair of vases. These were 28 inches tall. 25 inches tall. These were big vases. Very fine quality decoration. Celadon with um, bronzed porcelain handles. This is when they do the handles uh, like this. They, it's actually porcelain, but they do it to emulate bronze. These were lovely and they were big. Big is good. Chinese porcelain. Go down the page a bit. This lovely vase. Josh was a little worried about that vase. I talked to him. He thought it would do better because for the first week or so it was uh, very low uh, bids, had uh, hardly any interest at all. Um, take a look. It was, uh, it was. Uh, let's see, back here uh, after the first few days, it was, you know, sort of languishing around at the twenty-five, twenty, seventy dollars, and then all of a sudden in the last twenty-four hours of the sale, which often happens, it leaped. In one day, it went from nine hundred. Uh, it went from. Wait a minute, here it is. Where is it? It went from six hundred dollars to seven thousand in twenty-four hours. So there you go. Scroll down a little further. The Yixing pot we had talked about. This is a pewter pot with a Yixing liner. It did very well. Uh, one of the main features of these is that one, the Yixing clay liner was sealed, had a seal mark for the potter, which was in the listing. One side of it is done in very, very nice. Uh, script. This is a first half of the 19th century pot. Jade handles, jade lid finial, jade spout. The other side has this uh, beautiful bamboo and grasses on a rocky uh, shore, a rocky mountainside. Nicely done. And it brought a nice price, $6,100, right where it should be. Highly collectible. Uh, further down is this uh, jade pin we had talked about, set in pewter or white gold. Chimeras, beautifully decorated back, and on and on. Nice Yixing hot food pot, beautiful screen with calligraphy again, and uh, so forth. So Josh had a very good auction, and uh, happy to see that for him. And uh, that's it. So if you're not getting the newsletter, sign up for it. And uh, if you want to take a look at the site during the week, uh, there's always something being added over here. 
authentic Chinese and Asian art currently on eBay. These are sellers that we follow, sellers that we trust, mostly in the United States and in the EU. Uh, none are in mainland China. Uh, and there's some very good things on here. They often get featured in our newsletter as well, but it's worth coming to take a look because some of them close before the newsletter go out. They run a short auction, and uh, you want to uh, make sure you catch it. All right. Thank you very much for visiting, and until next time, keep looking. And uh, if you uh, have any questions or, or want to know more about us or how your things can get listed uh, with us, uh, get in touch with us. Here's our contact page. Uh, call me or email me. Thank you very much for visiting. Have a good week. Bye-bye.